What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the wishy-washy totem kind of uh, trial and all that stuff and uh, we won. Now, off screen, I did say I was going to trade for some Pokemon, one being a Fletchling because that is a vital Pokemon to my team. Something that I really want. And on top of that too, I got myself a Feebas. Which, well, we only need for our Pokedex entry, so we're going to be moving good old Infernoblade, or Inferno Blade right here, and we're going to be taking out Toxic Batman now that we actually have the Pokemon that we need. So everybody, say hello to Inferno Blade, part of the Blade family, you know, Fluff Blade, all that stuff. It does have pretty decent attacks right now. Quick Attack, Peck, Agility, Flail, and uh, let's see. Gentle and yes, we have found it at the well of uh, the well of volcano park We could be there in just a few episodes, but I really don't want to wait Really really don't want to so we're just gonna make do with that now that we got Feebas in our in our uh, What we call in our data we can go up to this gentleman right here, and he's gonna be like you've caught a Feebas Well, then show your Pokedex So there it is Feebas really is a strong creature. It can survive even in the most polluted water. Some researchers have hypothesized that it may dislike clean water, but if it lives, if it lives in Brooklyn Hill, then it's clearly not the case. Thank you. You've been a great help here for your assistance. And look at that. We get ourselves three thousand Poke Dollars. You've been a great help to it with my research. Now I should be able to make some progress. All right. Okay. So we were able to help out somebody in need, and now it is finally time to go down to Route Six and, uh, well, handle business down there. And there's a Pokeball right there. Hmm. I want to get that. How do we get there? Scratching my. Oh, there we go. We we. I'm, I was about to say I'm scratching my noodle just to see how do we do that. And well, let's see. Uh, we forgot to heal our Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm. Where are my, uh, where are my right or repels? There we go, repel. And now, let's go right ahead and grab ourselves another ball right here. That person may battle us. But here we found ourselves the TM57 Charge Beam. Okay, so this is a move that we could have used. Jeebus, okay. Do your research, Draven. Do your research. Okay, so we, qu we have quite a few HPs and all that stuff, or TMs and all that. So, let's see, I'm going to teach Charge Beam to Puka because, well, yeah. Let's face it, Thundershock, not that great of an attack right now. And, you know what, Acrobatics is a good move, too, so should probably teach that, too. Let's see, Acrobatics, let's go ahead and teach that to our good old buddy, Inferno Blade. And, let's see, this one right here, this move is 55 power. The user nimbly strikes a target. If the user is not holding an item, this attack inflicts massive damage, so... This could be a very, very good move uh, for the future. And, well, let's see. What else? Infestation is a good move. This target, or the target is infested and attacked by, for four or five turns. It, it cannot flee during that time. Okay. So, we do have quite a few good uh, TMs right now. But, ro but as of, you know, we're just going to focus on the important parts. And that is getting to the next town. And, well, let's see. The next place we have to go to is Route 6, where you will actually find some pseudo wudo blocking the way. But since we are back in Panolia, Panolia Ranch, you'll be able to find something right here. Let's see, I think there's something right around here somewhere. Not a truck. Ah, oh, there we are. Grabbed ourselves a heal ball, which could be used for healing a Pokemon. And there is a Pokemon trainer waiting for us. I. We'll actually use Inferno Blade because I kind of want to. I kind of want to test them out. Now it does. It does have the boosted stat for trade, so it would be able to gain gain double experience points right here. And here we go. Look at the lux illustrious heads of my Pokemon. I don't know what you mean, but okay. Let's go right ahead and take on our good old buddy Pokemon breeder Amanda. She's coming out with some two Pokemon right here. And here comes a Lillipup. Now, another Pokemon we could be using is a Fighting-type. 
The only thing is that we have to open up a slot for it, and, and that's something that we don't have right now. So let's go right ahead and go with acrobatics, and Lillipup, using its baby doll eyes, holy crud, and its attack has fallen, so here we go. Acrobatics does some massive damage just because Lillipup didn't have any uh, items right there. So here it comes again, baby doll eyes again. Alrighty, here we go. And that takes care of Lillipup. So right now, my Fletchling is doing some pretty good stuff. Again, it's a Pokemon that I've been wanting since uh, Pokemon uh, X and Y. But you guys already know. I already picked up my team. I already had a Fire-type ready for it. And here we go with Joker. I, it's been a while, Joker. It has been a while since we've seen you. And here comes a Growlithe. And Growlithe, of course, coming out with its Intimidate. And it's a little bit faster than us right now. So let's go straight for an Aqua Jet just to hit first. Here we go, Aqua Jet. Doing its trick right here, and here comes the Odor Sleuth. And that right there is not the business. So here we go, Aqua Jet again. And just like that, Growlithe has been defeated. And Joker growing to level 23. And we are, yeah, we are kicking some ass. Ultra Cycle level 23. Learning Miracle Eye. I wonder what this move can do. Enables a dark type target to be hit by psychic type attacks. This also enables an evasive target to be hit. Okay, so I'm going to take away Kinesis because this right here doesn't really do much for me. And just like that, we get ourselves another move. Amanda has been defeated, and we get ourselves some more poor, like some more money. Okay, so let us move on right here. And there are well, there's the the, the pseudo wudos that have been blocking our way. So if you talk to this, hey, it looks like you passed Lana's trial, huh? Why don't you show these gloomy pseudo wudos your water room as Z and see what happens? Now, we have to actually give that water room Z to one of our Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and give this, use this item. Let's give it to Joker right here. And, yes, we are going to be switching it up. And as you can see, bam, it is powering up. So we actually have to go... And put the Pokemon in front, I guess. I don't know. Alright, Inferno Blade, you have done your job. Let's go with Joker right here. And let's see what happens. Oh, they see. They see what's going on. Woo! And just like that, they run away. That's right, run away! The strange trees did not attack you, but went running off towards the Battle Royal Dome. Huh. <laughs> the pseudo wudo were off like a flash once they were reminded of the Z power. Thanks, now everyone can uh, use the road again. Here's a little something in return for you. And there it is, we get ourselves a Mystic Water. I wonder if maybe those pseudo wudo ran off to the Battle, uh, Battle Royal Dome to try and get stronger. You know about the Battle Royal Dome, right? That's the place where you enter the uh, Battle Royals. Well, it only says it right there. Right there in the in the title. And, well, here we are in Route 6, and we're going to be looking at quite a few things, like grabbing this item. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And there there are areas right here where you can actually battle some trainers. I am actually going to be switching out my Pokemon because, let's see, I kind of want to actually use a Fire Blade just or Inferno Blade a little bit more. And, well... When you speak of the youngster, Anthony, I'm the only one in the Lola region. I didn't get that. Or I probably didn't read that correctly. So here we go. Going up against another Pokemon trainer. And, well, this guy's going to come out with a Magby. And luckily for us right now, uh, Inferno Blade is not a Fire-type Pokemon. Wait until it evolves. And then that's when we're going to see some magic happen. So let's go with an acrobatics attack right here, and here comes a smoke screening attack. Good gravy. Okay, so there we go. Acrobatics doing its thing. Magby defeated, but here comes a flame body, which, yeah, really messes me up right now. And there we go. Infernal Blade grows to level 18. And, well, the rest of my Pokemon are gaining level 2, including Puka. Infernal Blade suffering from that burn, and well, here comes a Young Goose. So, let's go right ahead and go with a Joker. Haven't seen much of Joker as of lately. 
Oh, Joker. Let's go, Joker. Do it, Joker. And, well, here comes a young goose, kind of looking like a certain someone we don't like. And here we go, Aqua Jet for the win. And, well, that didn't really work out very much. And, yes, my Pokemon has been identified. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off with a Water Gun attack. Let's go, Joker. And Joker does the thing. Oh, yes, okay. And, well, we have defeated Anthony, and now we got to heal up our Pokemon again. But just like that, Infernal Blade evolves into the next stage. Look at this guy. One battle in, and bam! Or, actually, three battles in, to be precise. But there it is, guys. We are... We are yeah, right there with our team, and because Fletchling evolved into Fletchinder, or Flakinder, or I don't even know how to name it, it has gained the fire type capability. And bam! Flachinder, Flakinder, don't even know how to name it. Don't even know what its name is all about. So here it is, guys fire and flying type. It will not tolerate other Flachinder or Flakinders entering its territory, which has a radius of several miles. Which is awesome. And now that it's evolved, it will learn a new move, and that is Ember. And yes, I got the move for that. I kind of want to take away. Let's go ahead and take away Flail. We don't really need that anymore. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. My team is uh, taking a, taking its... Uh, my team is actually looking pretty good right now. And... Oh, crud. Yeah, it's paralyzed. So... What we need to do now is we need to give it this, and bam, rub it a little some. Look at that, this Pokemon. There we go. I think this also works for, like, poison as well. So there it is, guys. This Pokemon is now healed. No longer paralyzed. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at its its stats right here, because this actually could work in our, in our favor. So now that it's gained its fire capability, I'm only assuming that it has fire flame or fire body or something like that. And yes, it does have flame body, meaning if we put this right next to the egg, the egg will actually start hatching a little bit quicker. So let's put this right next to the egg. And uh, let's see, let's see, hold on. Summary. Okay, so. Now that now that Flachinder or Inferno Blade actually has the has the uh, flame body, this will actually heat up the whole. Uh, well, it will actually heat up the the egg just a little bit more. So that actually works for us, and we're kind of hoping what, to see the Pokemon right now, maybe in the next episode. I don't know, either or, it would work. And well, let's go right ahead and see if there's another Pokemon battle. Yes. I'm a breeder. I raise and breed Pokemon. Alrighty, let's go. Okay, so here we go. Pokemon breeder William would like to battle. And he's coming out with a pseudo Wudo. So it looks like he probably caught one of those pseudo Wudos. And there is just a little bit of a problem going with good old Puka right here because Puka, electric type, not effective against this guy. So let's go ahead and switch him out. And bam, bring him back. Let's go, Joker. Let's go. And here comes a mimic attack. Doesn't even work at all. So here we go. Water gun attack. And will this work? Almost work right there. So here comes a flail attack. And that hits us pretty hard. So let's go one more time with a flail or a water gun attack. And that will take care of Pseudo Wudo. Okay, alrighty. And let's see, what else? Okay, so Pokemon Breeder has been defeated. And, well, let's go ahead and move on. I actually don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. I already know what kind of Pokemon we will actually find in this area. It's just a matter of avoiding them. So let's see. Yes, we have plenty of repels. Now, Pokemon you can actually... Pokemon you can actually find here. Eevee, that is a hard Pokemon to actually find, but you will be able to find it here. Gonna go right behind here. There is an item that you can actually find, and that is a super repel. And hold on, a TM, which is sleep talk. 
Okay. Okay, so we, 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 we're doing some stuff right here, guys. We are doing some stuff. Uh, let's see. Even a, Eevee is a Pokemon you could actually find here. Groovin, Igglybuff, Lillipup, Mudbray, Picky Peck, Alolan Rattata, and Young Goose. These are some good Pokemon. And, well, once you reach this area right here... Me! You there, trainer! Can you come be my, uh, can you come to be my aid? Over here. Yo, yo, yo! Don't go turning your back on us! And you! You're a numbskull trainer uh, from Mila Mila, yo! These scoundrels are Pokemon thieves, and you're on a familiar terms with them? Well, yeah, I know them. I don't know- oh, uh, yeah, I know them. Yeah, that's right, you do! I am Hapu. Life in the big city is sure something else! Pokemon themes roam, uh, roam about brazenly. Hmm. I leave that one to you. We're not thieves, yo! It's a legitimate business. We got straight messed up in Mela Mela, got exiled to El Akala. But we ain't going out like that. Oh, damn. Okay, so they're throwing out their uh, their gang signs right here. What's side? Okay, so here we go. Battling another Team Skull member. Probably the same one that we faced before. And he does have one Pokemon. And here he comes out with a Drowsy. And, well... Let's go with Puka right here. See what Puka can do. He'll probably do some. A lot. I don't want it to use uh, to do it a lot right now. So let's go ahead and switch out this Pokemon. Let's go to Dump Truck right here since it is a Dark type Pokemon. And bam. But what about its poison capabilities? Will it work? I don't know. And that bulkiness actually saves us right there. So let's go straight for a Bite Attack right here. And Bite takes away Drowsy's uh, HP. And Dump Truck for the win. And look at that. We have defeated another Team uh, team Skull member. With all these losses, we're going to anger our bosses. These tears taste like salt, yo. It's all your fault. That rhymes. Floon. Me. Mudsdale, shall we stomp these scoundrels? It'll be a mess to clean up afterwards, but I am willing if you are. Time to uh, time for us to break, yo. Gotta tell y'all peace out, yo. I'm not gonna tell. Uh, keep telling you this, except when I keep telling you this. You better listen to what my homie says and drill it, uh, drill it into your thick skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget, numb skull. Oh wow. You'll be fine. You'll be fine getting home. Loon. Huh. Well, look at that. Glad to see that one will uh, get home uh, home to, uh, on her own. I've got to thank you for that. Give me your name, trainer. Draven, eh? That's a fine name. I like the way you handled yourself in battle. Mudsdale and I are always wandering all about Alola to try and achieve our goals, so perhaps we'll meet someday again. I am indebted to you for your aid after all. Me. Okay. It, 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 ah, yes. You might want to try your hand at the battle royal or two, Draven. Mudsdale here thinks you'd be suited to it, given how strong you are. Hmm. We are pretty strong. Very, very strong. Like, super strong. Like, amazingly strong. Like, stupid strong. I'm just joking. Okay, so we will be going there in just a little bit, but first, we gotta battle some trainers, guys. We have to battle all these trainers, grab these items. And then go to the Battle Dome just so, you know, we can check it out and all. So here we go, another battle. And this one will be... Mm, 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 Beauty Brittany. How you doing? I'm Jason Statham. In the Transporter. I'm just playing, guys. So here we go again, going up against another Cubone. And, uh... Well, we're picking the wrong Pokemon. We're not doing any kind of Switch training. Yeah, we're, we're we're kind of a yeah we're kind of being a, that guy right now. So here we go, Joker, and here comes the Leer attack. Not going to work. It really isn't going to work. And well, let's see. Let's go with the water gun. And here we go, water gun by Joker. Joker does its thing, and a Cubone. No more. Alrighty, no more Cubone. And well, in for Blade. Grows to level 19, and well, our Pokemon are just growing. 
Okay, so that was one trainer. There's still one more trainer around here, and there are quite a few items. We're gonna need the char Toro's charge for this uh, this uh, occasion right here. And look at that, we grabbed ourselves a rare candy, very needed, and bam. Yes, I do like ramming into stuff. And yes, we have found ourselves a Carbos. Now there is another item close by right here, and yes, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon right now. Ah, good god. And, oh damn, look at this, Oricorio. Pretty interesting Pokemon, it will... It will actually have some different forms right here. This one is just a little... Oh, wow. It's pretty fast. And it... Yeah, it will never let us go away. So, thankfully, we did. So now, let's go right ahead and just move on with this Pokemon. There is one more trainer right here. Hopefully, well, she won't see us. And bam, we found ourselves in X speed. And let's go ahead and battle this trainer right here. And by the looks of her, she... Probably will have an Oricorio. Okay, here we go. Take it on, Dancer Micah. Micah. And here, of course, she has Oricorio. Oh my god. But good thing we do have uh, Charge Beam onto Puka, so this will be a snap. Well, kind of a snappy battle right here. So here comes an Air Cutter attack. It will hurt us quite a bit, but here we go with a Charge Beam attack. Oh, yes, okay, and just like that, our uh, special attack increases, so the more we use Charge Beam, the more we get powerful, and here comes another Air Cutter attack, and this one hits us pretty good, so here we go, again, Charge Beam for the win, say goodbye to Oricorio. Oh, yeah, and, well, our Pokemon nearly grows a level right there, and the Hula Hula Girl has been defeated. Okay, so... That was everybody right here in Route 6, and I kind of want to go right here first because it looks like we need to take a look at this place. There is a red flag, so that might be the next place that we that we actually have to look at. And as you can see, oh damn, there's a Machamp flexing its guns. It's pretty cool, very, very cool. Okay, so, we're going to stop right here, guys. Uh, I know, we're cutting it short, but in the next episode, we will be taking a look at this Battle Dome, Battle Royal kind of thing, and see what we actually can find. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bam.